<laughs> you may have a stack of books just sitting around your house. You don't think that you can part with them, but all they're doing is collecting dust and taking up space. It's time to upcycle them and turn them into home decor. Yeah, that's right. We have Amy Hodap from Pinspire, who is here to show us how a few folds can upcycle a book into something you can display in a really different way. Uh, first off, I was not expecting uh, this. I thought we were going to do some some different like artwork with it or involving something different. But then I walked <laughs> in and saw these. Look at these. These are phenomenal. That's really cool. And how do we do this? Because that looks great. There's some math involved. Oh, no. So get ready. It's early. I know. Do I need I a calculator? You don't. You okay. don't. I did a little bit pre-math for sure. you, so you're good. So this is really simple project. So mm -hmm. if you have some extra books laying around, um, the one you're going to work on, and you'll start it, but, but you know, by the magic of TV, it would look like this. Oh, okay. But, okay. Awesome. So you're going to start this project. So basically, all you need is just any kind of recycled book. And um, this literally came from like a... Um, what am I trying to say? Goodwill type oh, of store, okay. you know, okay. like a, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. those type of stores. Um, any kind of thrift store, that kind of thing. So what you're going to do is you need a book, your little mat, your little piece of paper that has all of your uh, measurements on it, a ruler mm -hmm. and a pencil. They have a lot of free things online, like Pinterest has a lot of just like oh, okay. patterns that you can also get. You can buy some off Etsy if you get really, you know, creative and if crafty. If I were with to want to search for this project on Pinterest or Etsy, what what's you can it just, called? I just put in free heart book folding. Book folding. Book folding. There's okay. no cutting involved. It's all measuring and folding. So, so we can find those patterns again, pin spot or on uh, on Pinterest or Etsy. You said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure they're out there other places. But and, that's the, and then the the directions. Do they just come like this? Where I don't know. If that's you can get how a shot those of that, were but printed just, out. But it's just the. It goes to the pages, so I assume this tells you how many pages you need to have in your book, or you do the this math. This will and tell print you how out. many folds you have. Okay. So this one is kind of a little bit different with that. So you're just—I have already kind of found the middle of the book for okay. you. So what you would normally do is take the total number of pages, find the middle, and then count back half of your pages. So you have 40. Okay. So you'd count back 20. So, so I, a little I bit saved of prep work. you. I saved you. There you go. Okay. So you're right there. This is your middle. Yep. You're going to put the spine of the book towards your stomach. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use the centimeter side of the ruler. So you're not going to use the inch side. Oh, I only work in uh, inches. Well, you're going to have to worry about centimeters <laughs> today. So <laughs> you can do one of two things. If you <laughs> Silly metric system. All right. If you line this up with the edge of the book. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your pencil. And okay. this is going to be your page one. So this is kind of where, and if you want to always make a mark, I kind of put a little mark outside. That's page 107, just so I remember here. Oh, okay, 107. There you go. Right. Okay, so you're going to take the, the ruler uh -huh. and you're going to measure 7.7. .7. So okay. you're going to have really good eyes. No. Yes. <laughs> mark 7. one little 7. slash. Okay. And then you're going to mark 8.9 right. on the same page. I can do that. There we go. Okay, and then you're actually going to move to the next page. And so I always do all the folding first. The reason I do that. All the folding first or I'm all sorry. the marking first? I'm sorry I said that wrong. All the okay. measuring first. Gotcha. Because if you measure first and you realize like, oh, wait a minute, I'm off a page or two. If you start to measure and pre-fold, okay. it can easily. Well, let's get a couple pages marked, yep, but then we'll try to say. fold yep, them here. So 7, 1, and 9.6. Yeah, so you have 7, okay. 1, and 9.6. 7, 1, 9.6. It's a good activity to keep everybody busy in yes. the summer. <laughs> okay, so let's just pretend. Okay. We've got those those folded now. So okay. now, how do we go about folding? So here? what you're going to do is you're going to find your measurement here, mm -hmm. and then I always line up the page just so it kind of goes straight. Oh, so it's always going to be like a 45 degree yeah. fold. Yeah, so 45 up like that. degree fold. And then one like over here. Yeah. So oh, you're going to just kind of okay. scoot that over a little. There you go. I, the fold was like a pre-fold somehow. There that was because you were marking that. Page I was trying to mark it for ones. you. <laughs> so then, once we make all of these folds. What we'll end up with is our heart fold over here, right? Yep, the heart fold over there, yeah. And that's just a really cool way to, I mean, that's just really unique. I never thought it was anything. We've done, we've done artwork with books before where yeah. we've actually cut out yep. pages and put pictures in it and everything. But something like this where we don't destroy the book at all? I like that. I'm, I'm an avid reader. Yeah. And I like to know that I'm not destroying the book. So if you really wanted to read it, you could. And even they can get a lot more elaborate. Even though but we're kind of just upcycling it, you know. Yeah. But, uh, all right, well, Amy, yeah. thank you very much for being here. That's a really f cool, fun project, mm -hmm. something the kids more you... complicated if you want to get more complicated. What's, okay, what's this one? This one's quick? the ohm symbol. So there you go. Look at, yeah. All right.